May I help you? Um, I hope so. I'm looking for a one-eyed elephant named Bruno. You must be a captain defense. Yes. Hey, I am Marcello. Hi, welcome to Barcelona. Oh, we are so glad to have you here. Uh, a Belgian spy is just what we need to complete our little international alliance. Alliance? Oh, you will love this assignment. Berlin is every spy's dream, but come, we must meet the others. The others? Others? What others? Oh, well, the European allies are working here together as a team. We have the very best agents in the intelligence community. A very crack squad, as the British man say. I am, of course, Italiano, and a master of disguise. I used to be a tailor. And then there is Charles, a Frenchman, who used to be a tax inspector. And Cunningham, the Englishman, in a peacetime, he uh, wrote novels, uh, thrillers. And now in wartime, he is acting them out. She will like a little Greek, I am sure. Now, over there, Captain, you see the German espionage community. They're here in the same cafe? But of course. Otherwise, we spend all the day following each other around. Right. So if we're here... Is that the bit? We can all watch a Juanita. What we are doing, Captain, is critical to the war effort. Right, right. You see, Spain is neutral. Right, neutral. The Germans, naturalmente, want her to come in on their side. While we are determined that she comes in on ours. It all depends on the king. Whose wife, of course, was a favorite of your Queen Victoria's. And therefore, on our side. But his father, the German. So, she supports the Germans. You see that chap over there? He's the head of the German team, and as tricky a customer as you could wish for. Every day, Colonel Schmidt's influence in Spain grows and grows. It's huge. Our job is to put a spike in the bastard's wheel. Right. So how can I help? Uh, get yourself a disguise, naturalmente. A disguise? A jerk! So no one will know you're a spy. A jerk? Job of work. Do you know anybody in Barcelona who might be able to give you a job? Uh, of course. He must be somebody you trust completamente.
contract to find Mr. Picasso? Right over there, senor. Mr. Picasso? Yes. You probably don't remember, but about 10 years ago in Paris, when you had a falling out with Degas, and an American kid forged one of your paintings? And another American kid sold it for me. Ah, yes, I remember very well. I need the money to pay for a party. Don't tell me you're... Yep. <laughs> Norman, it's good to see you again. How is the painting coming along, no, huh? No, Norman Rockwell was another kid. I'm Indiana Jones. Ah, well, we can't all be talented. Ah, poor Odega, who thinks of him now? It is all Picasso, Picasso. Well, I just wondered if you wanted any help. But... You think Picasso wants help in painting? You think anybody could just walk in on the street to paint like Picasso no, paints? No, I, I meant with the scenery. Just all right. It's all done. You want a job? Huh? Come with me. I've got a better idea. But, Mr. Diagolo. I thought I could make a revolution in art with movement and music and color. But with a performance such as yours, these weapons turn to dust in my hands. Mr. Diagolo. The old order triumphs. All because you cannot stand still. Hi, Sergei. I have no dancer for you. What? Dancer. I never want to see another dancer. I'm not a dancer. Ah, then you're hired. Hey, look. I need someone who knows how to stand still. Drop your trousers. Now listen. I wish to look at your legs. You want to yawn, don't you? Well? Very well, I will make you a eunuch. A eunuch? In this, who could you resist? Spain sells France the mules to haul the guns around the Western Front. So, if the German agents poison the mules, the French will accuse the Spanish of selling them sick animals. And therefore, they refuse to form an alliance with them, and the Germans will be delighted. Fred, what a rotten trick. Charles, this is war. We've got to be water. We can't beat the Germans by behaving like English gentlemen. Oh, if only we could. A uh, haircut, please, barber. I think the senor would prefer a shave today. The razor is extremely sharp this morning. Oh. Yes, yes. I meant I want to shave. I have struck the razor 54 times, senor. Then I expect it will be sharp. <laughs> ah, Captain. Perfect timing. Did you get a good job, Captain? I nearly got the worst job in the world. At least some crazy Russian tried to make me a eunuch in a ballet. Signor Diaghilev, he offered you a, a job in the Ballet Russe and you turned it down? Of course. Well, can you see me tripping about on a stage like the Sugar Plum Fairy? <laughs> the Ballet Russe is not that kind of a show, Captain. Absolutely not. When they perform at Scheherazade, they have men and women act Actually making love on the stage. It's disgusting. You don't know where to look. Well, that's great, but I... And when I do a thing called the Rites of Spring, they have people fighting in the aisles. And this uh, does not happen in a Swan Lake, Captain. That's fine, but I'm... I've heard say that Colonel Schmidt himself has fallen in love with one of the dancers. There is no better cover for a spy in Spain in this momento. Well, sure, but I'm Capitaine. not going I think you should regard this as top military priority. Top. Anyway, you got a nice leg, sir. The 
Igor, to the left. Igor, to the left, Igor. He's talking to you. My name is Indiana Jones, Mr. Diagolov. <laughs> Don't be silly. That's not a Russian name. <laughs> Neither am I. Everybody in my ballet company is Russian, Igor. He has English Russians, Italian Russians, and French Russians. Do you think I can afford to bring Russian Russians all the way from Russia? <laughs> Mr. Diego, it's a Russian ballet company. Igor, just move to the left! Ah, Indiana, you were born to be a eunuch. <laughs> Come, meet my fiance, Olga. Hi there. How do you like my costume, Inji? That's a costume? Of course! What do you expect when you hire a Picasso? Stravinsky revolutionizes the music, uh, Nijinsky revolutionizes the dance. Hi! Revolutionize the look! Let me introduce you to the young man you were whispering to just now. Inji, Miss Kamanievsky. The man with too many names. Delighted to meet you, Igor. Ah. Miss Kamanievsky, you are as beautiful as ever. And so are you, Kalushmi. Senor Picasso, then we have funds of all. And I will have to advise Berlin which artist Germany should favor. I regret to say you will not be among them. I suppose it gives you some kind of perverse pleasure to wear this kind of thing, young man. I think you were looking for the house manager, Colonel Schmidt. Of course, the box he's offered the embassy is an insult to the entire German race. They're going to be so crowded in there. The box office is this way. One o'clock on the starboard. Can you make out the number? Eight, and I think it's a three, or seven. Eighty-seven. I haven't spotted that one before. Give it a luck. Is it really that important writing down the numbers of German U-boats? It's absolutely vital. And terribly interesting, don't you think? I have a collection of 69 U-boat numbers, not including duplicate sightings. Wow, that's really impressive. Oh, just solid, unrelenting work. Any champagne left there, old chap? Just a drop, no more. Nope. So, you successfully infiltrated the old Tutu Brigade, eh? And identified Colonel Schmidt's girlfriend. Hmm, Nadia Kamenevsky. Just a dancer, I'm afraid. I was rather hoping you'd be lusting after somebody more embarrassing. You mean, you wished he'd make eyes at the Queen or something? <laughs> exactly. Or a Duchess, at least. Endless possibilities for diplomatic incidents there. Hey. What if we helped Colonel Schmidt find himself a duchess? Captain, that is exactly the kind of dirty trick we've been looking for for months. <laughs> no, 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 no. We must have more passion. This is supposed to be an orgy of harem women, not a conference of certified accountants. Smolder, Miss Kamenevsky, smolder. Pretend you're stroking Colonel Schmidt's bristles. Continue, eh? Uh, two, three, one. Respect this chicken is up. The finest chicken is up. Everything is coming. Oh, I didn't hear you. I just, I just came. Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am?
what are you doing here? I couldn't help myself, Nadia. What do you mean? I just had to talk to you. Oh, I see. What about? Well, the ballet. The ballet, you know, the ballet that we're in. Yes, indeed. It's called Charissa. Right. Right. We see my part. I'm not really sure how to give it depth. Resonance, real, real, real feeling. Igor, all you have to do is hold your scimitar. True, 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 yes, that's exactly true, but I wanted to hold it with, with resonance. I think I could show you. Did you want to take me to lunch so I can tell you about resonance? That, 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 would, be, that would be perfect. What about tomorrow? Café o Porto? 12.30? That would be great. Perfect. And Nadia. Thank you. An entire love letter from Colonel Schmidt to Nadia Komanevsky. Nadia, my dearest, from your very own adoring Prussian. Oh, terrific! Your voluptuousness overwhelms me every time we kiss. This is just what we want. It's so far below the bell. He's that though. Marcello is the finest copier in all of Spain. Only this time. I copy Consuela instead of Nadia. But is it right to blacken that poor woman's name? After all, she is the Condessa of Tornado. Precisely. And if the Count of Tornado thinks his wife is making love to a German, the Kaiser's cause in Spain is absolutely done for. <laughs> and the Count is, how you say in English, a uh, semi-psychotic paranoid introvert. An exceptionally jealous blighter. But do you think the letter alone will convince him? Oh, absolutely. The letter's just a start. As soon as Marcello's finished tracing, he's going upstairs to have his hair cut. Oh, no. Cunningham, I refuse to go to the barbers. Hello. No, no, my hair. She is only just a grown back from last time. We all together. The women, they recoil for weeks afterwards. This is war. You must have your hair cut. I hope you like paella. I've ordered special paella for two. It's... It's one of my favorite dishes. That's very fortunate, Igor. Paella is my favorite dish, too. I like the element of surprise. You never know what you will find. Well. See? I was telling the truth, wasn't I? I do like paella. Do you always tell the truth, Igor? Always. Then what were you doing with Colonel Schmidt's letter just now? I was putting it back so you wouldn't know that I'd read it. You wicked man. You stole Colonel Schmidt's love letter. I couldn't help myself, Nadia. I just had to know what he'd been saying to you. Hindi, you're jealous of Colonel Schmidt. Nadia, the man is not fit to do up your ballet pumps. Every time I see the two of you together, I have to pull myself back just to keep from hitting him. Oh, don't be cruel to the poor Colonel. He's quite harmless, really. But what can you possibly see in him? Oh, roses, champagne, expensive dinners. If it gives an elderly German officer pleasure to give them to me, who could possibly object? Well, for starters... Don't let's talk about him. Let's talk about you. I want to discover everything there is to know about you. Excuse me, Contessa, but is that the residence of the Marquis of Segovia? No, this is the residence of the Duke of Ayolidad. The Marquesa is much nearer the sea. Thank you, Signora. You've saved me on a necessary journey. Thank you. 
just dropping her off. The car will soon be on its way to the governor's palace to let the count. We have 12 minutes. I had to rescue a priest from a mob of anarchists. That's no excuse for poor timekeeping, Julio. We must hurry and pick up the Contessa in order to get to the ballet by eight o'clock. my wife recently, Julio? Well, Your Excellency, now you mention it. gentleman in question. Let me know. Leave the costume alone, Delphine. It's perfectly all right. He got me a swine. Delphine, he hasn't traced my name. He's filming someone else's. Consuela. Consuela. That's the Countess of Tenido. She and the Count will appear tonight in this very theater. And so will the Colonel. We have to warn him at once. Your Excellency, that looks very like the man over there. The German cultural attaché? Two minutes, Miss Kamenevsky. Fina, you must take a note to the Colonel. You see, box A1. Box A... One. And Delfina, hurry. It's vital. Box A. A. One. Hey, Delfina. Hi, Nadia.
Bernard, they are trying to make the Count of Tenedo believe you're making love to the Countess. Delphine! Yes, senor. To the Countess, I say the cards are from the Colonel, and to the Colonel, I say they are from the Countess. And there must be no mistake. Only if he goes without an itch, will you get your money? Of course, senor. What can go wrong? What indeed, Manuel? from the Countess of Tornado, sir. She's in box eight. The Spanish need some real music. Would the German embassy be able to arrange for one of Wagner's great operas to be performed here? Good Lord. What a splendid suggestion. What an intelligent woman. This is what he sent back, sir. Tornetto, listen to this. Your idea is inspired. Barcelona will ring to wonderful music. Add hour before wonderful. his reply, Signor. Oh, could you also arrange for a visit by the heavenly bell ringers? Bad goes. This passes belief.
They are trying to make the Count of Tenedo believe that you are making love to the Countess. How wonderful. Do you think you'll be convinced? Go on. Why, oh, Harry, look at Igor. He's flashing his codpiece. And it's in Morse code. This is the person I hired to stand still. Nadia is onto an exclamation point. Countessa, Colonel Schmidt, at your service. Countessa, your love of German culture has inspired me. Let me assure you, I will stop at nothing to gratify your desire to know more of the artistic riches of the fatherland. Artistic riches? Your Excellency, your wife has made certain demands of me of a cultural nature. I can promise you, sir, it will give me enormous pleasure to satisfy them. And what's more, I will tell everyone in Barcelona that the idea was hers, and hers alone. Name your second, sir. What? A jewel, sir, at dawn tomorrow. Pistols, I assume. You have something against Wagner, Count? You are not fond of Sherman Bell Rinnick? The Germans are a race of swine of whom you are a perfect representative. Very well, Count. If that is your view, these gentlemen will act as my seconds. Pistols will be perfectly in order. I look forward to seeing you at dawn. Hi. Well, Count, the old bull ring, I understand, is traditional in these encounters. You're well informed. The sand, you see, soaks up the blood. Well, I've got her safe. Oh, man. But you know what's happened? The Count has challenged Colonel Schmidt to a duel. Good Lord! What if someone gets killed? Perfect. What? If Schmidt kills the Count, the Germans will be presuming on Grata in Spain for months to come. And if the Count kills Schmidt, the Germans lose their top spy. Well, what if they kill each other? Then I would personally buy us all a magnum of champagne. 
Captain, I must congratulate you. Your first espionage assignment in Spain is rapidly approaching a triumphant conclusion. Great. Just make sure the girl is safe until after dawn tomorrow morning. And then everything will be hunky dory. I'm way ahead of you. Nadia! Look, I'm sorry about all this, but I had to, you know? Here we go. Look, I got something to eat. We promise not to yell if I take the gag off? All right, you promised. You are a complete bungling idiotic fool. You're just about to ruin one of the most carefully planned espionage operations of the war. Can you eat this, you'll feel better. Ow! You better until I've seen you drummed out of the espionage corps. Do you realize who Schmidt is? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. He's the head of the German spy network in Spain. Oh, idiot. He's the most valuable double agent American intelligence has ever recruited. American intelligence? Well, how come nobody told us? You wanted published in the newsletter. There was no need for you to know. Well, so what do you Russians have to do with all this? Oh, you nincompoop. I'm no more Russian than you are. I'm his American contact. Why do you think we pretended to be lovers? Well, you could be just saying this. Yes, I could, but I'm not. Now untie me at once. I need to discuss it with my friends first. Untie me! Not until I talk to my friends. Then take me with you. All right. Good morning, Ludwig. The dawn of an exciting day. Your chance to die for the honor of Germany. Wonderful. I can't wait. Do we really have to put the gag back on? No, but I'm tired of calling me a bumbling French bureaucrat. And we needed time to think, huh? Don't you believe her? Well... Yeah, it sounds plausible. Look, I'm terribly sorry, madam, but we've all signaled our headquarters. We simply have to be waiting for the reply. Schmidt, an apology. You'll have to deliver his to the cemetery, you toffee-nosed bozo. You have 35 minutes before the Count of Tenido starts giving him a lead breakfast. Madam, you may rely on us to prevent this misfortune from occurring. I think I know why no one has ever attempted to have an affair with the Countess. Very well, gentlemen. Shall we go and shoot ourselves, a German? If the Colonel's really an American agent, why doesn't he just refuse to fight? And entirely destroy his credibility with the Germans? No, no, the poor devil's got no option but to shoot it out in the ball ring. Perhaps we could substitute blank ammunition for the real bullets. Or we could waylay a second on the way to the jewel. No, 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 no. Oh, why not? Wait until they reach the bull ring, then sneak into the pens and release the bulls. Gentlemen, I hate to disturb this entertaining fantasies. But there's only one thing we can do. What do you have in mind? We've got to tell the truth. Oh, surely not. <laughs> we have to tell the Count that his wife has not been having an affair, that he's been tricked into fighting the Colonel, and that he can call the jewel off with his honor unsmirched. But will he believe us? He will when we show him the letter you stole. Of course! He'd be able to see for himself that his wife's name has been substituted for these young ladies. So give me the letter, Igor. Well, I guess I left it back at the theater. Military 
intelligence. It's a contradiction in terms. Collects rubbish. Um, uh, the caretaker. What does he do with the rubbish when he's collected it? This is Dr. Borges. To attend to the wounded? To provide the death certificate, Colonel Schmidt. It is my duty to ask you, gentlemen, can this matter be resolved without bloodshed? Will either party be satisfied with an apology? Very well. If you would stand back to back. Like so. Each take ten paces. At the end of ten paces, turn and fire at me. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. It's a hoax with this. I had intended to celebrate your demise with this Colonel Schmidt. Instead, let us drink to Germany. To Germany. May she triumph over her enemies. You may think we're right back where we started. But the crucial thing is, it was a jolly good effort. What's up? This better be good. Shh. I cannot talk to you here. Go back to headquarters. Kellingham will fill you in.
Marcello said you wanted to see me. It was urgent. Good news. Yes, good news. What is it? We sent such a glowing report of your performance here to French intelligence headquarters. You've been reassigned. Reassigned? A prize mission, I'd say. Working with one of France's most uh, unique, unique, yes, yes, unique, 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 unique intelligence unique. officers. Well, who? Colonel Clouseau. Colonel Clouseau? Oh, yes, you all learn a great deal from him. I think, I think. Yes, it'll be a once in a lifetime experience. I, I, I yes. imagine, I imagine. But, but you must hurry. Uh, you have to be in Amsterdam by Tuesday evening to meet your contact. Well, who? What? When? I... Beerstrasse Square. Light a match. And a blind man will tell you how to meet Colonel Clouseau. Goodbye. is high this year. Not as high as the price of beets. Beets are outrageous. On the other hand, carrots are a dime a dozen. I'd stock up on them if I were you. Mm. About time. I've been lighting matches out here for two hours. Haven't you seen me? Of course not. I'm blind, you idiot. Right. It's Prague. Deep enemy territory, huh? Now then. Here are your papers and your train tickets. Right. You'll take tomorrow morning's Prague Express. You'll go to apartment 7P, 150 Flasker Street. Right, right. You'll wait for a phone call that'll come on the 8th at precisely 1,200 hours. Yeah. That's all? I just wait three days in an apartment for a phone call? Do as you're told. But don't be conspicuous. This call is of vital importance. The entire outcome of the war could depend on it. And remember, they'll only call once. OK, OK, OK. Here's your disguise. So what am I this time? You'll be traveling in ladies' underwear. What? No, I won't. I'm not going to travel. a salesman of ladies' underwear. Right, right. Now, here are your samples. Now, under no circumstances, must you call any attention to yourself? Right. Your name is Amadeus Schubelgruber. Amadeus Schubelgruber? Who makes up these things? I do. Dan drie stuivers. Maar ik zou dat damesondergoed dat je verkoopt ook nemen. Oh, kijk, ik koop damesondergoed. No, I've got a train to catch.
Cabbage. Cabbage. Aren't you Clouseau? What do you know I'm Clouseau? Cabbage. You have such thinking cabbage. I know it's a code word. You're supposed to say beets. Beets? Cabbage. Beets? Cabbage. Beets? Cabbage. Beets? Cabbage. Beets? Ah, yes, yes, of course, I forget. But you must not talk to me. It is too dangerous. Here is the key to the appartement. You must only contact me when there is a problem. But we're supposed to work together. Only if you are in trouble, and only if you are in serious trouble. You understand? Now, go. Excuse me, ma'am. Where's my phone? The phone is not there. I know it's not there. Where is it gone? Gone. Taken by the authorities. Why? Authorities do not say why they do these things. But I must have a telephone. I'm expecting a very important call in two days. If you want to know more, you should go to the Ministry of Telephones. Ministry of Telephones? Right. Thank you. So we have a problem. Beets. What? Beets is a good word. Cabbage. Beets. Okay, look, there's no telephone in the apartment. But that is not right. You're right, it's not right, it's wrong. How can I get the call if there's no telephone? Then you must go to the Ministry of Telephones and get yourself a telephone. What? I said you must go to the I know, I know. Fine. Hello? Yes? I need a telephone. Installations. First floor, first on the right. Right, thank you. Just one moment, sir. Yes? We must have a phone. Right, right. Thank you. What kind of phone do you want? Ah, uh, just like the one they took out, I guess. They took your phone out? Yes, ma'am. Someone from here. We only deal with new installations here. If you already have a phone, then you must go to reconnections. Well, you see, I don't actually have a phone. Second floor, second on the right. Right, thank you. <clears throat> Your form. It must never be forgotten. So, what kind of a phone do you have? I don't have any kind of a telephone. I told you, someone from the ministry came along and took it. Well, there's, well, there's nothing for us to reconnect then, is there? Hmm? But the woman from New Installations... Look, said... how... How can we reconnect you if you don't have a phone? It's impossible. I mean, if someone has removed your telephone, the people for you to see are... Uh, Phone removals. Stands to reason, doesn't it? And where are phone removals? Ah, third floor, third on the right. Thank you. Mm. Oh, by the way, don't forget your form. <laughs> If the removal department had removed your phone, sir, there'd be a form recording it. And as you can see, there isn't one. So we can't have removed it. Naturally, therefore, we can't replace it. Perhaps someone removed it, but didn't fill out a form. In other words, a theft. Well, no, no, not necessarily. Well, quite clearly, a theft. Which solves your problem. 
If your phone has been stolen, then we can replace it immediately. Really? It's great. It, it, it was a theft. Now, all you have to do is to take this form down to police headquarters and report the theft and get them to stamp it there. Then take it to the Ministry of Insurance, make a claim for compensation for the goods stolen and get them to stamp it there. Then you finally bring it back here. I stamp it to show that it's been duly authorised. Then you take it to the reconnections. Reconnections takes it to installations. The man at the front desk can take it to the works. And before you can say, snap, you have a new phone. What could be simpler? I can't imagine. But the crucial thing is, don't lose that form. Because if you do, we can't give you another. Do you understand? Absolutely. Excuse me, sir. Of police. The police? That is dangerous. I know. We are in the art of enemy territory. The police must not find out that you are a spy. Otherwise, they will shoot you. What should I do? Uh, you must go to the police. You must get that telephone. And then you must check back here with me at 1800 hours. Oh, 
Hi. I would like to report a stolen telephone. And I'd also like to get a stamp right here so I can go to the Ministry of Insurance and make a claim. Certainly, sir. If you'd just like to fill out this form and we'll see to it immediately. Thank you. All of it? Oh, yes. Can't leave anything out, can we? Sir, only you've written it in Czech. Of course I wrote it in Czech. As part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, all forms must of course be completed in German. German? Never mind, sir. I have another one here. Won't take you long. Schubel Gruber, you can go with the constables now. If you will just sit down there, sir. We will call you shortly. Yes. Ah, Damien. Come in. Well, you realize this is very serious. What is serious? Come along. Don't play games with us. You know exactly what we're talking about. Oh, no, I don't. I... I came here to report the theft of a telephone. Mm. That's what they all say. At first. Now come along, Hershey Gruber. It'll go easier with you if you make a full confession immediately. A confession to what? I haven't done anything. Uh -huh. That's a good one. <laughs> he hasn't done anything. He <laughs> said he hasn't done anything. <laughs> Stop wasting our time, Schubel Group, and make a full confession. It's all prepared for you. Just sign it. This is our last chance. But I have nothing to confess to. I came here to get a form stamp for the Ministry of Phones. That, that's the whole story. Very well. That's that. Next. What, 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 what's going on? What's... Case number 435, Amadeus Schubelgruber. How do you plead? Guilty. Or not guilty? I don't. I just came here to report a missing telephone. You mean you're telling us you're neither guilty nor not guilty? I'm trying to tell you that I'm innocent. No one is innocent, Herr Schubelgruber. We are all guilty of something, are we not? Well, that may be possible, but it doesn't mean that everyone ends up in court because of it. More's the pity. The world would be a better place if you did. Now, how do you plead? Well, how can I plead if I don't know what I'm accused of? You are accused, Schubelgruber of infringing Article 114 of the Criminal Code. With which, of course, all loyal citizens of the Austro-Hungarian Empire are perfectly familiar. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. Your plea is therefore? Well, well, not guilty, but, but the court... have shown utter contempt for processes of law and justice, which have taken 2,000 years to develop. You should be ashamed to raise your head in public. For trying to fill in a form? It's men like you, Shubukuba, who let loose anarchy in the land, who gnaw away at the obedience and faith which glue society together. If your kind triumphed, our entire civilization would blow like dust into the cold, bleak wastelands of universal chaos! Well, where's the evidence? I think we have all the evidence we need here, Shubalgruba. In your own hand. Oh, oh, okay, look. The real reason that I came here... Guilty! What? Guilty as charged. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. The only reason that I'm here is to report my telephone is missing. That's... I didn't do anything wrong. Listen to me. You can't do this to me. I'm innocent. I've never done anything to get me. Hello? You're not listening. Hey! This has all just been a terrible mistake. Everything's just been a big error. You are claiming you are here as a result of an error? Yes. Yes, that's it. That's exactly what I'm claiming. So? What? Oh! You have to fill in one of these. There's a form for this? Of course, there is a form for everything. Here is the pencil. Thanks. Austro-Hungarian Empire is documented well, here. Uh, it is a fine collection, is it not? Herr Schubelgruber. It's awe-inspiring. Thank you. I just wanted to report a missing phone so I could make a claim with the Ministry of Insurance. And I was interrogated well, and tried and... Everything seems to be in order. You may go. What? Take this. Sergeant at the front desk will show you out. You don't, you don't mean that. Well, of course I mean it. It is my job to correct administrative errors, and you clearly have been the victim of one. Goodbye. This is incredible. It says, well, he says that, that, that I could go. That's right, sir. Through there. Sir, do you... you think that... 
If it's no trouble, but could I get... Stamp it? Yeah. Certainly, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Where have you been, huh? Have you got the telephone? You are a day late. Do not you realize how important this assignment is? I thought that something terrible had happened to you. Huh? Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. Nothing? You see this? Of course I see this. And this stamp? Huh? And this stamp? Huh? All I need is the stamps from the Ministry of Insurance. And I have my telephone. You have only 20 hours left. The fate of the civilized world depends upon your receiving this telephone call. The fate of the civilized world is in good hands. right here from the Ministry of Insurance, showing that I've made a claim. Can you help me? You'll need to fill in the form first. Right, of course I'll need to fill in the form. The number of the form is 27A. Okay. Go to the last desk on the right. Last desk. There, form 27A. No. 27A? No, you don't. 27A? No? No? I, I, I've already been here. Nein, ich habe es nicht. Du bitte noch mehr. What? Ah, upstairs, the first on the right. Upstairs? I'm not leaving without Form 27A. I need Form 27A to get this form stamped. And I'm not leaving without it! I'm not! Not, not, not! They said you want Form 27A? Yes, that's what they told me. I went to four different desks and four offices, and everyone said that someone else had it. Well, nobody has it. Form 27A has been superseded by Form 27B. What? I thought everybody knew that. This is absolutely ridiculous. All I want is a new phone. I went to the Ministry of Phones, and my form blew out the window. And then I went out on the ledge, and a pigeon knocked it into the street. And then a man stepped on it. And then I had to chase after a tram. And then a woman hit me with her handbag. And so I went to the police. They made me fill it out in German. And then they gave me the third degree. And then they put me in jail. What you're trying to say is, you're upset. No, no, I'm not upset. I'm incandescent with rage! What about your telephone? Huh? What if I steal your telephone? Then, then you'd have to go through everything that I've gone through to get it back and you go insane! The thing is, you're also in the wrong office. I investigate industrial accidents. But to be honest with you, I feel like a break. Shall I come round with you and see if we can track this thing down together? Help, help me? Why not? Yeah. Yeah, that'd, uh, that'd be great. My name is Kafka. Franz Kafka. Indiana Deus Schubert. Mm. This way, Mr. Schubert. Form 27B is a little hard to get hold of because they didn't print enough. In fact, there's only one person in the entire building with a supply of them, and he's a little, how shall I say, anonymous. What do you mean, anonymous? Well, he works in here. It's all right, though. I think I can track him down. Excuse me. Excuse me? Hello. He's usually at this desk. Must be further back. Strange, isn't it? The higher up one gets, the more anonymous it all seems to become. Well, this must... Could you tell me where Anton is? Excuse me, where is Anton Dvorak? It is his desk! But where is he? 
That's not here either. Forget it, George. Oh, friends! Thank you, George. Franz, how nice it is to see you. How good of you to drop by. It's nice to see you too, Anton. I'm helping a friend, Herr Amadeus Schubelgruber here. He needs Form 27B. Well, you have come to the right place, because I have all the Form 27Bs in the entire ministry right here. You do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I actually, I can't give you one. I lost the key. It's been several days now. I have no idea where it is. Never mind, Anton. Just get the janitor to bring you a new key. <laughs> an ideal solution. But in order for the janitor to come, he must have Form 103C. And Form 103C is in the same cabinet. I don't believe this. It is a little unexpected. On the other hand, we're not going to be defeated by bureaucracy, are we, Herr Schubelgruber? If the janitor won't come to the filing cabinet, we must take the filing cabinet to the janitor. Right, Anton? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Gentlemen. Where is the janitor? In the basement. How are we going to get it down the steps? We can use this hoist. Ah. Excellent. We'll tie this rope to it and lower it down. Okay, I'll hold the rope. You push it off the steps on three. Good idea. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. I got it. I got it. It's okay. Got it. It's okay. Very slowly. No, 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 no. No! no. Twenty-seven B. Herr Schubelgruber, your problems are over. Mr. Kafka, I'll never forget this. Oh, you can even make bureaucracy interesting if you have a little imagination. Thank you. Ah, what a trial. Is 
So how long will this take? The installation team will be with you first thing in the morning. That is the 8th at 9 a.m. Was that definitely? Because I'm expecting a very important phone call at 1,200 hours. The phone really has to be working by then. Look, all the paperwork has been completed. Everything is in order. I guarantee the phone will be installed by 9.15. 9.15? But you'll only have a couple of hours to spare. Don't you think that you are cutting it a little fine? Well, if I were in charge of this operation, I'd have made sure I rented an apartment with a phone in it. Oh. All I can say is, if that telephone is not installed in the apartment first thing in the morning, I will have you shot as a traitor. Will be. that the telephone was installed. You don't trust me? What, do you think I'm incompetent? I can't get a single telephone installed? What, do you think I'm an imbecile? Some kind of fool? An idiot? Yes. That telephone call is going to come through in one hour. Now, where is the telephone? She's not here yet. What? What? No, no, they promised me that it would be here. That's it. I told you. Hi. Hi. Am I glad to see you? Uh, we're from the Ministry of Telephones, and uh, we're here to install your instrument. I know. I know. This is great. Come on in. Okay. Where do you want it, sir? Oh, uh, over here. It'll be fine. Very good. <clears throat> then we'll install it right here. Okay. That's, that's great. That's wonderful. A pleasure, sir. Well, uh, we'll be off now. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Um, um, I guess you'll connect it up now, right? Connect it up? To the wires, you mean? Well, yeah, to the wires. Uh, we're telephone installers, uh, Mr. Schubelgruber. We wouldn't dream of connecting them. No. That's, uh... <gasps> Connections. Connections, that's right. Naturally. Of course. That's an entirely different department. And when... When will Connections get here? A couple of weeks from today, they'll be knocking on your door and your phone will be working in no time. A couple of weeks. You can guarantee it. They're not going to install the phone for a couple of weeks. Hey, heard that, you idiot. Now get me out of here. The handle just broke. What time is it? Oh, my God. We've only got 20 minutes. Go and hook up the telephone. Right. Hook up the wire. Who's a pearl outside the window? The wire's too short. I'm gonna go to the store and buy an extension cable. We do not have time for that. Wait, wait. I think that I can see the telephone cable in here. All you have to do is to pull hard. Right. And make it reach. It wasn't the telephone cable, it was an electrical cable. Just my little mistake. Don't just stand there, find the telephone cable. <sighs> okay, I've got it. How much time do we have left? Ten minutes. Connect the telephone cable to the pole outside the window. Ah! 
Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! It's working. And not a moment too soon. Now get me out of here. That's it, it's 12 o'clock. Huh? Where's the phone call? Check the connection. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Hang on a minute. I'm doing that. You, 
You have to go to Berlin, 107 Friedrichstraße. You have to do what? And arrange to have... And arrange to have what? A telephone installed. What? What could be easier? Ah. Yeah, sure. What could be easier? I remember very well. I need the money to pay for a party. Don't tell me you're... Yep. <laughs> Norman! It's good to see you again. How is the painting coming along, no, huh? No, Norman Rockwell was another kid. I'm Indiana Jones. Ah, well, we can't all be talented. Ah, poor Odega, who thinks of him now? It is all... Picasso. Picasso. Cool. I just wondered if you wanted any help with... You think Picasso wants help in painting? You think anybody could just walk in off the street to paint like Picasso no, paints? No, I, I meant with the scenery. Just all right, it's all done. You want a job? Huh? Come with me. I've got a better idea. But, Mr. Diaghilev... I thought I could make a revolution in art with movement and music and color. But with a performance such as yours, these weapons turn to dust in my hands! Mr. Diaghilev! The old order triumphs. All because you cannot stand still. Hi, Sergei. I have new dancer for you. What? Dancer? I never want to see another dancer. I'm not a dancer. Ah, then you're hired. Hey, look! I need someone who knows how to stand still. Drop your trousers. Now listen. I wish to look at your legs. You want to yawn, don't you? Well... Very well, I will make you a eunuch. A eunuch? In this, who could you resist? Spain sells France the mules to haul the guns around the Western Front. See? So, if the German agents poison the mules, the French will accuse the Spanish of selling them sick animals. And therefore, they refuse to form an alliance with them, and the Germans will be delighted. Fed, what a rotten trick. Charles, this is war. We've got to be water. We can't beat the Germans by behaving like English gentlemen. Oh, if only we could. A uh, haircut, please, barber. I think the senor would prefer a shave today. 
The razor is extremely sharp this morning. Oh, yes, yes. I meant I want to show you. Very slowly. No, 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 no. No! no. no. Twenty-seven B. That's you, Bulgrubba. Your problems are over. Mr. Kafka, I'll never forget this. Oh, you can even make bureaucracy interesting if you have a little imagination. Thank you. Ah, what a trial. So how long will this take? The installation team will be with them first thing in the morning. That is the 8th at 9 a.m. Was that definitely? Because I'm expecting a very important phone call at 1,200 hours. The phone really has to be working by then. Look, all the paperwork has been completed. Everything is in order. I guarantee the phone will be installed by 9.15. 9.15? But you'll only have a couple of hours to spare. Don't you think that you are cutting it a little fine? Well, if I were in charge of this operation, I'd have made sure I rented an apartment with a phone in it. Oh. All I can say is, if that telephone is not installed in the apartment first thing in the morning, I will have you shot as a traitor. Will be. And not a moment too soon. Now get me out of here. Stillstanden! Sobald wir den Befehl erhalten, werden wir uns zum Flussufer begeben. Wir werden dort übernachten und sehen, was uns that's it, it's 12 o'clock. Huh? Where's the phone call? Check the connection. <laughs>
Tie this rope to it and lower it down. Okay, I'll hold the rope. You push it off the steps on three. Good idea. One, two, three. Ah! Uh -huh. Seven B. Herr Schubelgruber, your problems are over. Mr. Kafka, I'll never forget this. Oh, you can even make bureaucracy interesting if you have a little imagination. Thank you. Ah, what a trial.
Police. The police? That is dangerous. I know. We are in the art of enemy territory. The police must not find out that you are a spy. Otherwise, they will shoot you. What should I do? Uh, Where's the phone call? Check the connection. <laughs> Be great. Perfect. And Nadia. Thank you. An entire love letter from Colonel Schmidt to Nadia Komanevsky. Nadia, my dearest, from your very own adoring Prussian. Oh, terrific! Your voluptuousness overwhelms me every time we kiss. 
is. This is just what we want. <laughs> so far below the bell. He's that though. Marcello is the finest copier in all of Spain. Only this time. My copy, Consuela, instead of Nadia. But is it right to blacken that poor woman's name? After all, she is the Condessa of Tornado. Precisely. And if the Count of Tornado thinks his wife is making love to a German, the Kaiser's cause in Spain is absolutely <laughs> done for. And the Count is, how you say in English, a uh, semi-psychotic paranoid introvert. An exceptionally jealous blighter. But do you think the letter alone will convince him? Oh, absolutely. The letter's just a start. As soon as Marcello's finished tracing, he's going upstairs to have his hair cut. Oh, no. Cunningham, I refuse to go to the barbers. Marcello. No, no, my heir. She is only just a grown back from last time. We all show together. <laughs> the women, they recoil for weeks afterwards. This is war. You must have your hair cut. I hope you like paella. I've ordered special paella for two. It's it's one of my favorite dishes. That's very fortunate, Igor. Paella is my favorite dish, too. I like the element of surprise. You never know what you will find. Well. See? I was telling the truth, wasn't I? I do like paella. Do you always tell the truth, Igor? Always. Then what were you doing with Colonel Schmidt's letter just now? I was putting it back so you wouldn't know that I'd read it. You make it mad. You stole Colonel Schmidt's love letter. I couldn't help myself, Nadia. I just had to know what he'd been saying to you. Hindi, you're jealous of Colonel Schmidt. Nadia, the man is not fit to do up your ballet pumps. Every time I see the two of you together, I have to pull myself back just to keep from hitting him. Oh, don't be cruel to the poor Colonel. He's quite harmless, really. But what can you possibly see in him? Oh, roses, champagne, expensive dinner. Oh! oh! Friends! Thank you, George. Franz, how nice it is to see you. How good of you to drop by. It's nice to see you too, Anton. I'm helping a friend, Herr Amadeus Schubelgruber here. He needs Form 27B. Well, you have come to the right place, because I have all the Form 27Bs in the entire ministry right here. You do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I actually, I can't give you one. I lost the key. It's been several days now. I have no idea where it is. Never mind, Anton. Just get the janitor to bring you a new key. <laughs> Ideal solution. But in order for the janitor to come, he must have Form 103C. And Form 103C is in the second cabinet. I don't believe this. It is a little unexpected. On the other hand, we're not going to be defeated by bureaucracy, are we, Herr Schubelgruber? If the janitor won't come to the filing cabinet... We must take the filing cabinet to the janitor. Right, Anton? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Gentlemen. Where is the janitor? In the basement. How are we going to get it down the steps? We can use this hoist. Ah. Excellent. We'll tie this rope to it and lower it down. Okay, I'll hold the rope. You push it off the steps on three. Good idea. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I got it. I got it. It's okay. Got it. It's okay. The women, they recoil for weeks afterwards. This is war. You must have your hair cut. I hope you like paella. I've ordered special paella for two. It's, it's one of my favorite dishes. That's very fortunate, Igor. Paella is my favorite dish, too. I like the element of surprise. You never know what you will find. Well. See? I was telling the truth, wasn't I? I do like paella. Do you always tell the truth, Igor? Always. Then what were you doing with Colonel Schmidt's letter just now? I was putting it back so you wouldn't know that I'd read it. You wicked man. You stole Colonel Schmidt's love letter. I couldn't help myself, Nadia. I just had to know what he'd been saying to you. Hindi, you're jealous of Colonel Schmidt. Nadia, the man is not fit to do up your ballet pumps. Every time I see the two of you together, I have to pull myself back just to keep from hitting him. Oh, don't be cruel to the poor Colonel. He's quite harmless, really. But what can you possibly see in him? Oh, roses, champagne, expensive dinners. If it gives an elderly German officer pleasure to give them to me, who could possibly object? Well, for starters... Don't let's talk about him. Let's talk about you. I want to discover everything there is to know about you. Excuse me, Contessa, but is that the residence of the Marquis of Segovia? No, this is the residence of the Duke of Ayuidad. The Marquesa is much nearer the sea. Thank you, Signora. You've saved me on a necessary journey. I appreciate your is traditional in these encounters. You're well informed. The sand, you see, soaks up the blood. <laughs> well, I've got her safe. Oh, man. But you know what's happened? The Countess challenged Colonel Schmidt to a duel. Good Lord! <laughs> what if someone gets killed? Schmidt kills the Count. The Germans will be persona non grata in Spain for months to come. And if the Count kills Schmidt, the Germans lose their top spy. Well, what if they kill each other? Then I will personally buy us all a magnum of champagne. Maybe then I must congratulate you. Your first espionage assignment in Spain is all rapidly approaching a triumphant conclusion. Great. Just make sure the girl is safe until after dawn tomorrow morning. And then everything will be hunky dory. I'm way ahead of you. Nadia! Look, I'm sorry about all this, but I had to, you know? Here we go. Look, I got something to eat. Will you promise not to yell if I take the gag off? All right, you promised. You are a complete bungling idiotic fool. 
just about to ruin one of the most carefully planned espionage operations of the war. Can you read this? You'll feel better. I feel better until I've seen you drummed out of the espionage corps. Do you realize who Schmidt is? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. He's the head of the German spy network in Spain. Oh, idiot. He's the most valuable double agent American intelligence has ever recruited. American intelligence? Well, how come nobody told us? You wanted published in the newsletter. There was no need for you to know. Well, so what do you Russians have to do with all this? Oh, you nincompoop. I'm no more Russian than you are. I'm his American contact. Why do you think we pretended to be lovers? Well, you could be just saying this. Yes, I could, but I'm not. Now untie me at once. I'll need to discuss it with my friends first. Untie me! Not until I talk to my friends. Then take me with you. All right. Morning, Ludwig. The dawn of an exciting day. It's great. It, it, it was a theft. Now, all you have to do is to take this form down to police headquarters and report the theft and get them to stamp it there. Then take it to the Ministry of Insurance, make a claim for compensation for the goods stolen and get them to stamp it there. Then you finally bring it back here. I stamp it to show that it's been duly authorized. Then you take it to the reconnections. Reconnections takes it to installations. The man at the front desk can take it to the works. And before you can say, snap, you have a new phone. What could be simpler? I can't imagine. But the crucial thing is, don't lose that form. Because if you do, we can't give you another. Do you understand? Absolutely. Excuse me, sir. I'm helping a friend, Herr Amadeus Schubelgruber here. He needs Form 27B. 
Well, you have come to the right place because I have all the Form 27Bs in the entire ministry right here. You do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I actually, I can't give you one. I lost the key. It's been several days now. I have no idea where it is. Never mind, Anton. Just get the janitor to bring you a new key. <laughs> Ideal solution. But in order for the janitor to come, he must have Form 103C. And Form 103C is in the same cabinet. I don't believe this. It is a little unexpected. On the other hand, we're not going to be defeated by bureaucracy, are we, Herr Schubelgruber? If the janitor won't come to the filing cabinet, We must take the filing cabinet to the janitor. Right, Anton? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Gentlemen. Where is the janitor? In the basement. How are we going to get it down the steps? We can use this hoist. Ah. Excellent. We'll tie this rope to it and lower it down. Okay, I'll hold the rope. You push it off the steps on three. Good idea. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. I got it. I got it. It's okay. Got it. It's okay. That's it, it's 12 o'clock. Huh? Where's the phone call? Check the connection. <laughs>
Igor, what are you doing here? I couldn't help myself, Nadia. What do you mean? I just had to talk to you. Oh, I see. What about... Well, the ballet. The ballet, you know, the ballet that we're in. Yes, indeed, it's called Charissa. Right, right. We see my part. I'm not really sure how to give it depth. Resonance, real, real, real feeling. Igor, all you have to do is hold your scimitar. True, 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 yes, that's exactly true, but I wanted to hold it with, with resonance. I think I could show you. Did you want to take me to lunch so I can tell you about resonance? That, 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 would, be, that would be perfect. What about tomorrow? Café Porto, 12.30? That would be great. Perfect. And Nadia. Thank you. An entire love letter from Colonel Schmidt to Nadia Komanevsky. Nadia, my dearest, from your very own adoring Prussian. Oh, terrific! Your voluptuousness overwhelms me every time we. Is it just what we want? It's so far below the bell. He's that though. Marcello is the finest copier in all of Spain. Only this time. My copy, Consuela, instead of Nadia. But is it right to blacken that poor woman's name? After all, she is the Condessa of Tornado. Precisely. And if the Count of Tornado thinks his wife is making love to a German, the Kaiser's cause in Spain is absolutely done for. <laughs> and the Count is, how you say in English, a uh, semi-psychotic paranoid introvert. An exceptionally jealous blighter. But do you think the letter alone will convince him? Oh, absolutely. The letter's just a start. As soon as Marcello's finished tracing, he's going upstairs to have his hair cut. Oh, no. Cunningham, I refuse to go to the barbers. Marcello. No, no, my hair. She is only just a grown back from last time. We all show together. <laughs> The women, they recoil for weeks afterwards. This is war. You must have your hair cut. And at the front desk and take it to the works, and before you can say, snap, you have a new phone. What could be simpler? I can't imagine. But the crucial thing is, don't lose that form. Because if you do, we can't give you another. Do you understand? Absolutely. Excuse me, sir.
When will connections get here? A couple of weeks from today, they'll be knocking on your door and your phone will be working in no time. A couple of weeks. You can guarantee it. They're not gonna install the phone for a couple of weeks. I heard that, you idiot. Now get me out of here. The handle just broke. What time is it? Oh my God, we've only got 20 minutes. Go and hook up the telephone. Right. Hook up the wire to the pearl outside the window. The wire's too short. I'm gonna go to the store and buy an extension cable. We do not have time for that. Wait, wait. I think that I can see the telephone cable in here. All you have to do is to pull hard. Right. And make it reach. It wasn't the telephone cable, it was an electrical cable. Just my little mistake. Don't just stand there, find the telephone cable. <sighs> okay, I've got it. How much time do we have left? Ten minutes. Connect the telephone cable to the pole outside the window. It wasn't the telephone cable, it was an electrical cable. Just my little mistake. Don't just stand there, find the telephone cable. <sighs> okay, I've got it. How much time do we have left? Ten minutes. Connect the telephone cable to the pole outside the window.
heart's sake, hurry up. I have to go wee wee. Germans, not romantic, want her to come in on their side. While we are determined that she comes in on ours. It all depends on the king, whose wife, of course, was a favorite of your Queen Victoria's, and therefore on our side. But his father, the German. So she supports the Germans. <sighs> you see that chap over there? He's the head of the German team and as tricky a customer as you could wish for. Every day, Colonel Schmidt's influence in Spain grows and grows. It's huge. Our job is to put a spike in the bastard's wheel. Right. So how can I help? Get yourself a disguise, not remente. A disguise. A jerk! So no one will know you're a spy. A jerk. Of work. Do you know anybody in Barcelona who might be able to give you a job? Uh, of course. He must be somebody you trust completamente. Yes. You probably don't remember, but about 10 years ago in Paris, when you had a falling out with Degas, and an American kid forged one of your paintings. And another American kid sold it for me. Ah, yes, I remember very well. I need the money to pay for a party. Don't tell me you're... Yep. <laughs> Norman, it's good to see you again. How is the painting coming along, no, huh? No, Norman Rockwell was another kid. I'm... Indiana Jones. Ah, well, we can't all be talented. Ah, poor Odega, who thinks of him now? It is all Picasso, Picasso. Well, I just wondered if you wanted any help. Do you think Picasso wants help in painting? Do you think anybody could just walk in off the street to paint like Picasso no, paints? No, I meant with the scenery. Just all right, it's all done. You want a job? Huh? Come with me. Give me the third degree, and then they put me in jail! What you're trying to say is, you're upset. No, no, I'm not upset. I'm incandescent with rage! What if I took your telephone, huh? What if I steal your telephone? Then you don't have to go through everything that I've gone through to get it back, and you go insane! The thing is, you're also in the wrong office. I investigate industrial accidents. But to be honest with you, I feel like a break. Shall I come round with you and see if we can track this thing down together? You need me to help, help me? Why not? Yeah. Yeah, that'd, uh, that'd be great. My name is Kafka, Franz Kafka. Indiana, Deus, Shubakuma. 
This way, Mr. Form 27B is a little hard to get hold of because they didn't print enough. In fact, there's only one person in the entire building with a supply of them, and he's a little, how shall I say, anonymous. What do you mean, anonymous? Well, he works in here. It's all right, though. I think I can track him down. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. He's usually at this desk. Must be further back. Strange, isn't it? The higher up one gets, the more anonymous it all seems to become. Well, this must be. Could you tell me where Anton is? Excuse me, where is Anton Dvorak? It is his desk! But where is he? It's uh, not here either. Uh, forget it, George. Oh! Friends! Thank you, George. Franz, how nice it is to see you. How good of you to drop by. It's nice to see you too, Anton. I'm helping a friend, Herr Amadeus Schubelgruber here. He needs Form 27B. Well, you have come to the right place, because I have all the Form 27Bs in the entire ministry right here. You do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I actually, I can't give you one. I lost the key. It's been several days now. I have no idea where it is. Never mind, Anton. Ah. Excellent. We'll tie this rope to it and lower it down. Okay, I'll hold the rope. You push it off the steps on three. Good idea. One, two, three. Ah. Ah. No! I got it. I got it. It's okay. Got it. It's okay. Very slowly. No, 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 no. No! no. no. Seven B. Herr Schubelgruber, your problems are over. Mr. Kafka, I'll never forget this. Oh, you can even make bureaucracy interesting if you have a little imagination. Thank you. Ah, what a trial. So how long will this take? The installation team will be with you first thing in the morning. That is the 8th at 9 a.m. Was that definitely? because I'm expecting a very important...
report a stolen telephone and I'd also like to get a stamp right here so I can go to the Ministry of Insurance and make a claim. Certainly, sir. If you'd just like to fill out this form and we'll see to it immediately. Thank you. All of it? Oh, yes. Can't leave anything out, can we? Sir, only you've written it in Czech. Of course I wrote it in Czech. As part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, all forms must of course be completed in German. German? Never mind, sir. I have another one here. Won't take you long. Schubel Gruber, you can go with the constables now. If you will just sit down there, sir. We will call you shortly. Yes. Ah, there you are. Come in. Well, you realize this is very serious. What is serious? Come along. Don't play games. 